Hi traders, my name is Marco Mayer from Trading Educators and today I'm going to talk about why having a few on a market isn't enough. Now, how do I come up with that topic at all? The reason for this is that I got an email I want to respond to with this video. This is a quick history of how this came up. I did a couple of posts on our blog this week at tradingindicators.com. Uh, first one was on March 10th, just on the day when the EZB came out with their news and Draghi did his thing and the euro went crazy. The blog post was about something completely different. It was about how I approach a day like that where I know there's going to be a lot of volatility. Statistically seen, what usually happens after such a day in the euro is that you see some sort of correction going on. And a few days later, I did another blog post where this is exactly what happened. The market did come back a little bit. And then I said, okay, somewhere around 110.50, my idea was this price might revert based on possible support area there. But I also make the comment that I won't trade on this. So I said, okay, as a systematic trader, of course, I don't trade on just my opinion and by drawing in a couple of lines. Now, a couple of days went by since then, and I got an email that said, hey, Marco, both of your calls have been pretty spot on. Aren't you annoyed you actually didn't trade on them? Because here's what happened in the euro after that. It didn't exactly hit that level, but a couple of pips higher, it reversed, and then exploded to the upside. And that's exactly the kind of thing I want to talk about I'm not annoyed at all that I didn't trade on any of these views because the problem is just having a few doesn't make a trade. So what do I mean by that? And this is really a common problem because there are so many analysts, trading gurus, whatever out there who's going to come up with some ridiculous or not ridiculous, doesn't matter, but they come up with some kind of analysis of market. So they say, okay, my view on the euro is it's going to go higher because of this and this chart pattern or this fundamental news or whatever. But just to say, okay, the market's going to go up and then come back two weeks later and say, look what happened, it went up, isn't isn't enough. It's not even really helpful because there's a lot of information missing to actually make money out of that idea. Let's go through that quickly. So first of all, where exactly will you get in? You just get in at the market. You're placing an order right now by market where the, the price is. You're going to go in with a limit order a little bit lower. You're going to go in with a stop market order at a higher price, or you're going to wait for some chart pattern to show up. When do you exactly get in? And can you define that? If you did, how long is that order valid? Then how many contracts to trade on this? What's your calculated risk and why? Next one, when will you get out of the trade if it doesn't work? So what's your plan if the view is wrong? Do you have a stop loss in there? If so, at what price? If you don't have a stop loss, then what other criteria do you have to exit the trade? When exactly is the moment in time where you say, okay, this view didn't work out? And what are you going to do then? Are you just going to exit a couple of days later? You're going to exit because there's now a new chart pattern that says something different or because some indicator turned around? As much as important, when do you get out of the trade if it does work out? Your view of the market is correct, the euro is moving higher, now what do you do? Do you just get out a day after one up day? Do you have a profit target at a specific price? Do you have another criteria like for the stop loss, maybe another chart pattern, or do you just say I'm going to stay in the trade for one week and then get out? Trading is a numbers game, meaning you have to think about a series of trades, which takes us to a problem here, because if you don't know exactly what you're going to do based on that view, how are you going to react correctly on the next couple of trades? What exactly is your view based on? Is it just a gut feeling? Is it a chart pattern? Is it some news? Is it a line in the chart? Can you make a rule out of it or not? And yeah, there are some traders out there who can trade on their gut feeling very successfully. Let me tell you though that probably you're not one of these people, meaning you're going to have to need some kind of rule, some kind of trading plan, and you need to know what that view consists of. Right? Is it a chart pattern? Is it a specific news coming out? Write it down. Because if you can't answer all of these questions, then how are you going to be able to trade this in a consistent way? Meaning, how are you going to make sure you're going to take the same trade again and again to come out ahead after a series of trades? If you don't have that, then what, what if your view is wrong the next couple of times? Will you decide to not trade on it? 
anymore, how will you make sure you don't miss the next big winning trade based on that idea you have about the market? You're going to see a lot of chart analysts out there and they put out lots of charts for every market. And of course, they're going to point out the ones that worked out pretty well. But what about the other ones? Can you somehow quantify this? And the only way you can do that is if you set specific rules. So you know when the trade did work out and didn't work out. Because what's the point of saying, yeah, the euro is going up now. You say that today, the next week, it goes down 500 pips and then it rallies 1000 pips. Sure, it did go up, but at what price and how would you have stayed in that trade? These are some of the points I wanted to make why just having a few isn't enough. That's already it for today. If you're serious about trading, consider joining our community at tradingeducators.com. You get free access to our trading forum, ebooks, articles, more videos like this one, and our weekly chart scan newsletter. Also, if you have any questions, just send me an email to marco at tradingeducators.com. I'd also be happy to get some feedback on this video below on YouTube so you can like it or just leave a comment. All right, so see you next time. Take care.